Hello, my name is David, and this is the Stadium Nerd. Um, this is my Canadian Premier League Stadium Rankings videos, video for 2023. At number 8, I put York Lions Stadium, um, York, home of York United FC. Uh, there's not really much to say about this stadium. There's one main grandstand, and this is a picture from a view from the grandstand. On the other side, there's temporary seating, nothing behind the back goal, and then um, one other temporary seating where most of their more serious supporters uh, sit in their supporter section, and that's right here. Um, yeah, it's just not very professional. Um, uh, very temporary, um, but I think this will be, uh, their future stadium will be a lot higher if it eventually gets put through. This is some renderings um, of the proposed uh, soccer-specific stadium that will be built in for York. Um, well, if it gets built, uh, if it gets built, it'll probably be the best stadium in the league, um, just based on it being soccer specific, um, whatnot. As of right now, yeah, York United would be last. Number seven, Willoughby Community Park Stadium for Vancouver FC. Another temporary stadium, very small, um, all temporary structures. Um, well, with that being said, I think it's a little bit better than York as it has four sides, um, very good views from everywhere. Um, this is their proposed renderings of this stadium. It doesn't look like it's completely finished uh, the way they'd like it. Um, yeah, have them at number seven. <coughs> and any future upgrades to it might improve this stadium greatly. I think being in Vancouver, great weather, uh, has a lot of potential. And if they built, uh, build another stadium too, I think it would, you know, once again, jump up in in the rankings a lot uh, number six is wanderers grounds for hfx or halifax wanderers another temporary stadium i wanted to put this one a lot higher um they sell out basically every game their capacity is around six thousand, give or take um but just very temporary um a nice stadium natural grass which i like as well um i think it's four sides and then a smaller section built on the back where the scoreboard is. Um, yeah, just with some of the, the, the key features not being there, uh, they don't have running water <laughs> or permanent bathrooms at the field, which I think is is uh, <laughs> not a good look, uh, having, having been a team in this league for five seasons, but there's some proposed, um, some proposed new stadiums, uh, there's a proposed new stadium in the works, eight to 10,000 seats, and I think that would greatly improve their uh, situation. And yeah, this is just a picture of kind of the attendance. Uh, at number five, I put Tim Hortons Field, uh, Forge FC. This is the first CFL stadium, or shared stadium on here. The reason I have it so low is it's just a simple two, two uh, section stadium with two tiers. Um, and as a result, it just looks kind of basic. Um, not a lot going on to the stadium. Um, yeah, I think it lacks a lot of personality compared to other stadiums higher up and other CFL stadiums, especially. That being said, it's a big step up from the, pre the previous three. Um, but yeah, I think there's not a lot of views either. So you see like an industrial park in the background. There's no shade for sun. Um, at yeah, number four, I have Atco Field, uh, Cavalry FC in Calgary. Uh, I like this as it has a little more personality. It's an odd shape as it has uh, a big grass structure at the back, which I think they're planning to put some more seating in. Uh, three sides currently. Uh, one at the back there and a main structure. Main structure gets very good attendance, actually whole stadium does uh, very good viewpoints natural grass as well which which i like as well um uh yeah uh, just just an interesting stadium which is why i put it uh above tim hortons field but i could easily have switched these around um even put this one lower uh number three we have starlight stadium for pacific fc in victoria uh three sides one main structure um, that says that has the PFC on it, one bigger structure on the side, and then a supporter section behind the net. Uh, I put this one at three because it's very unique, very good view, 
viewpoints for the game, especially in that main structure, you'd be really close to the action. And I like the backgrounds. They have um, trees and mountains and just the general, <laughs> the general topography of, of BC greatly improves the views. And it's a, a nice looking stadium. Um, weather is good on the island too. So, so yeah, it's going to be a, a nice place to watch a soccer game. Not great on TV. The camera's really low. Um, number two, we have TD Place Stadium in, in Ottawa, Athletical Ottawa Stadium. Um, another CFL shared stadium. Two sides as well, um, like Tim Hortons Field, although I think it has a little more personality. It's a little bit newer, which helps that as well. <clears throat> um, has a little bit of shade, a little bit of cover. Um, I like how one side's a one one wall, the other side is a two two deck. You can see it a little bit, a little bit more there. Better views in the background is uh, buildings, trees, just general has a little more atmosphere, I think, than Tim Hortons Field, and that's why I put this one higher, obviously. This is how their seating it works. They sit on one side of the stadium here. That's where all their all their fans sit for the most part, along that side. <clears throat> but but yeah. And then number one, IG Field, Valor FC in Winnipeg. Um, it's the biggest stadium in, in the league, and that's not why I put it first. I like that it wraps all the way around on the main deck, um, and then it has two upper decks there. Now, it, most of the stadium doesn't get used for CPL games. No team averages more than 7,000 uh, 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 spectators. So they sit on one side of the stadium on the bottom deck, um, just like this, um, and their attendance ranges, but... Um, I think the reason I have this stadium first is just the amenities you'd get, great viewpoints, uh, room for expansion as far as uh, attendance. So if more people start to come, you can wrap it around or even go up to the second deck if you want to keep that side use. Um, one problem that I hear is uh, during day games, um, especially from the time of like five o'clock, the sun hits that, just that side there's an empty side of the stadium that has nobody in it in the shade and i think that maybe a little bit of an oversight and one that wasn't thought of um, but yeah that's my rankings for cpl stadiums um uh please feel free to like subscribe and uh comment where you think you'd put the stadiums in, in the comments thank you and uh, have a good day